Randy Geyer, shares of Rave Restaurant Group are up over 40% since you changed your name and your ticker from Pizza Inn back in January. So I guess the rebranding really worked for you. Yeah, you know, I think uh, when we, we rebranded back in January, it was really to send a message to our employees and our investors, of course, that we were a multi-branded restaurant company. We're not the company you thought we were. Uh, but I don't think it's just the rebranding that's really buoying the stock up. It's the fact that people are excited about what we're doing. They're excited about seeing Pizza Inn turn around. They're excited about the prospects of Pi 5 and what's happening as we pioneer this whole new segment. Well, talk about Pi 5 because it has seen extraordinary growth so far. And pizza's been around a long time. So what makes Pi 5 different? Well, you know, what makes Pi 5 different is we're solving a problem that's been in the pizza business forever, right? Which is, you know, it's very constraining, right? Pi 5 is a custom pizza concept, so you can get individual custom pizzas, making it, baking it, taking it to your table in less than five minutes. You get it your way, you get it fresh, you get any topping you want on the pizza. We bake them in our patented oven in just a little over two minutes, and it's just a fresh, hot, artisan pizza you know, and, and experience that people are loving. And what's in it for the franchise owners? We're hearing a franchisee rebellion over at McDonald's. So what's attractive about a Pi 5 franchise for, you know, for future franchisees? Yeah, you know, we've got a very limited set of franchisees, and we're going to keep it to a small club of folks that can build and, and grow with us. And they're excited about kind of getting in on the ground floor or something. The economics are, are outstanding for our franchise partners. We're bringing in very experienced folks who want to get in on the ground floor or something and be part of building it with us, not you know, some guy on the outside who's fighting against us. And you're adding a whole lot of units. I think recently you did a 25 unit deal in the Southeast. So talk about your growth plans. How many Pi Fives do you have now? How many do you want to have by the end of the year? And how do you make sure you're not cannibalizing uh, your own franchisees and, or growing too fast? Yeah, sure. Well, I, we're, we will open number 56 tomorrow, as a matter of fact, in Kansas City, excited about that. We should be 90 plus by the time we get to the end of the, year, the, end of the calendar year uh, with expectations of around 500 in the next five years. So we're, we're rocking and rolling in terms of our growth and that's both company and franchise units. Uh, we're very invested in building our own restaurants as well. Um, I think the challenge with any restaurant in terms of growth is to not get ahead of your skis, right? It's so easy to get excited about your growth and get distracted with building and the hype that comes with that and lose sight of operations. The minute you lose sight of operations and get inconsistent with your product or your service starts to fall off, that's when it starts to crumble. That's why you see these you know, restaurant concepts sort of dead on the side of the road. How important is it to push the healthy and fresh ingredient aspect of a restaurant business now? Because we're seeing these type of restaurants along the lines of Chipotle do much better than the old school burger franchises. Yeah, I think it's critical and it's moving now from something that is just desired to something that's expected, right? Because customers are smarter than they've ever been about the ingredients they're putting in their body. Uh, and Pi 5 is one of these concepts that has been built from the ground up on all natural fresh ingredients displayed right in front of you. You know, we like to call it fresh casual, not fast casual, because the customer can see everything that's happened and they can, you know, scrutinize the ingredients from the minute they walk in the door all the way to their table. And I know it's still early in Pi Five's life, but how has the reaction been from competitors, Papa John's, Domino's, Pizza Hut? Because you could lead to a price war and that's no good for anybody. Yeah, well, I'd tell you actually, Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Domino's, they're not competitors. Well, we don't compete against delivery pizza. That's a whole different occasion a different need the customer has at a different time of day. We actually compete much more broadly than that because we're bringing pizza to lunch, right? Because it's fast, it's convenient, it's individual. It's not, you know, price gouging you on different stuff. And so we don't think we're going to be into that price war because this is not a substitution for delivery pizza. This is an option instead of Chipotle, Potbelly, and just giving pizza an opportunity to play in a much broader set of occasions. All right, well, thanks a lot for coming on and talking about it. Absolutely. And thank you for watching The Street.